side of things, but just general mental health of the pop, the UK population and and wider maybe, and how we improve it. We, how we generally bring up the the average state of mental health in the UK. How do we do it? And and, and I don't mean now. I mean in the long run. And I think the one of the gaps that we all have, everybody has. We, you and I, are probably more knowledgeable than most people in the UK on the subject of mental health how it impacts you positively and negatively and what tools there are to to help you cope with or improve your, your mental health or your mental ability at, at specific times or generally i need to, i need to prepare a speech for example i need to do some i need to do some revision i i've got a difficult meeting to go to i've got a family event that i have to go to i don't want to do with i've got a funeral to go to you know setting yourself up to, for challenges that are coming up as in specific examples and then just generally bringing you know improving improving your mental health. And I think the the, the reason is a, uh, it's not as good as it can be at the moment is just the knowledge that people have. The, one, the awareness of it, the literally the consciousness of their mental state and two, uh, the tools that there are available. When I say available, it's like you were saying, mate. Little things like, I say it all the time, I hate, I hate repeat myself because people listen to the podcast regularly. Fuck, he's banging on about getting outside again and going for a walk. He's banging on about that again. Cause it's, but it's one. It's free. Exactly. And it's one of the examples, right? Um, but to improve that knowledge, you have to start at, at, at the school level, at the child level, in the home, but also in school. One of the things I really think would be really good to bring in, so simple, wouldn't cost anything, would be at the start of each lesson, right? Every lesson, and start this in primary school, start of each lesson, there is a two minute or a three minute meditation session, right? And that is not me saying everyone should meditate all the time. Uh, because it doesn't work for everyone. It benefits people in different different ways. But at a school, at a child level, one, it introduces them to that meditation. Two, in the practical sense, it switches their brain off from the previous lesson, resets it, gets them ready for the next lesson. And three, it introduces them to the benefits of changing your mental state and how easy it is to do. And in this case, they're doing it with meditation. And why do I say meditation? Because it's two or three minutes of sitting down and doing nothing. Light class, shut your mouth, shut your eyes, Three minutes, that's it. Doesn't even have to be guided. Just that's it. Do three minutes of silence. Shut the F up, Johnny, or you're always winding me up. But, you know, that, that's it. Imagine doing that every lesson. You At the end of just primary school, or even just doing it for one term, those kids, they'd be exposed to meditation. They'd be exposed to changing their mental states. I guarantee you they'll be more responsive in those lessons each time because they reset their brains. They're more alert. Like they, they, Their brain's clear going into that, you know, going from religious education into, I don't know, history, whatever it is. Just as an example, and that's why this Generation R thing, they see, it sounds really, really, really positive to me. If the government should should absolutely make it part of the curriculums in all schools and all educational establishments that there is mental health on there, whether that's its own standalone lesson, whether it's 30 minutes a week, whether, but it needs to be regular and frequent. Because when those people become going to college or uni or adults, they're going to be much more resilient, much more resilient, what does that mean? More resilient people, less ill health, less physical ill health, less mental ill health, less strain on the NHS, less cost to the UK taxpayer, less impact on the government. And less, less cost to the government means what? More money for the government. Exactly, more money yeah. for the UK. It's, uh, it's like a no-brainer. <laughs>